through the crumbling arches, past the wooden gates. This must be it! Now all I have to do is find the biggest cross. Atherton knew the graveyard was haunted. The ghosts of early settlers walked among the tombstones late at night, waiting to avenge their tragic deaths in the mines. A few months ago, Peggy and Veronica went up there after curfew with some boys. Then they were attacked by a ghost! They were probably hallucinating from all the hairspray. They swore to me, Jenny. They wouldn't lie. I don't believe in ghosts. And the tall tales of a bunch of airheads won't change my mind. Even so, Jenny's skin crawled with goosebumps. It might have been her imagination, but the night suddenly seemed a lot darker. Maybe I'll uh, use Mom's flashlight. You know, j just in case. Dead. Unable to see more than a few inches ahead, our trembling adventurer had no choice but to edge forward, very slowly. Oh, great! There's a light over here. What is that? It's coming from the open grave! Out of me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize anyone else was here. Ah, that's okay. This place is terrifying in the dark. I really need to stop working nights. What are you doing out here after curfew? Hmm. I don't know if I can trust this guy. I'm a city-appointed grave inspector, and I'm here to inspect this grave. Is it Tuesday already? Goodness me, where are my manners? Hop right in and have a look around! Um, no, that's okay. I can, uh, see it fine from here. You're the LeClue girl, aren't you? Uh, well... Your poor old man. What a horrible way to die. Yeah, I don't really like to talk about it. Blown into a thousand pieces! What a way to go! No chance to say goodbye! Boom! Gone! Just like that! An absolute tragedy! And the pain! Can you imagine? Nothing left of him. Hardly seemed worth digging the hole. Well, you're digging a big hole right now. Yes, ma'am. Regulation size, six feet, not an inch less. The name's Matt. The second T is silent. Okay, Matt. I'm gonna need to ask you some questions for my report. Just the usual red tape. You understand. Oh, sure. Fire away. He seems harmless enough. I just need to be sure he's not working for the man in black. Mm -hmm. 
Is that blood? Blood? Where? It's all over your clothes and your shovel. Oh, that. <laughs> that's good old Arthurtonian red clay. Impossible to wash out. One of the hazards of the job. Why are you digging a grave in the middle of the night? Well, they have to go somewhere. The bones. The what? It's the problem with building a graveyard on top of an old mine. Ground's always shifted. Before you know it, bones are sticking out all over the place. We have to rebury them. It's bad for business. That's terrible. Could be worse. Could be dead, like all of these poor souls. Ms. Smith over there, bitten by a badger. Wouldn't want to go that way. Right there is Mr. McCarthy. Set himself on fire baking biscuits. And there's your dad, of course. Your poor dead dad. Dead. Are you finished? Oh, sorry. There I go again, talking about the dead. He knows everything about this place. told me your name was Matt. It is, isn't it? Well then, who is Owen? And why are you wearing his shirt? Ah, oh, darn it, it's fallen off again. Owen was the old groundskeeper. He died digging a grave. Turned out to be his own budget cuts. You're wearing a dead man's shirt. Eh, seemed a shame to waste it. He didn't need it anymore. anyone suspicious lurking around tonight oh well there was this one girl a girl she scared the life out of me really made me jump oh wait no that was you wasn't it you'll have to forgive me my memory isn't what it used to be keep one in there in case of emergency people like to leave them by the graves as a tribute you should take it for your dad thank you what's that stuck to your boot oh don't know could have come from anywhere Beyond the fallen angel. Um, what now? Under the crumbling arches. Uh, you lost me. The entrance is buried there. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, is this a poem? I love poems. Do you want to hear one of mine? <laughs> no, I'm good, thanks. There are a lot of people buried here. Well, if they keep dying, we'll keep burying them. Do you know which of these graves has the biggest cross on it? Now there's one I've never heard before. Biggest cross. No, can't say I do. They've all got about the same sized cross, I'd say. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you have any idea how I could find it? You know, you might want to look at that statue up there. It has a list of all the famous miners buried here. It might help you find what you're looking for. Famous miners? Interesting. I think it's safe to say he doesn't know anything about the man in black. Well, thanks, Matt. That's the end of the, uh, inspection. How did I do? Did I pass? With flying colors. Oh, and if anyone asks, you didn't see me, okay? See who? Exactly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a statue to investigate. 
Oh, no, you can't go up there now. It's far too dangerous. I'll be fine, thanks. Absolutely not. If you slipped and fell, I couldn't have that on my conscience. Come back tomorrow during the day. I'll give you a guided tour. Damn. I'll have to find another way to get up there. Much like those buried in the graveyard, this tree had died a long time ago. Be careful, Mr. Crow. It looks like it could fall over at any moment. Another case cracked. down here. Must have been the wind. That was close. Hopefully this statue can help me find the biggest cross.
Jenny had heard the tragic tale of a catastrophic cave-in that closed the mines under Arthurton. Everyone blamed the miners for ignoring safety procedures. Most were crushed instantly by the falling rocks. Others had not been so fortunate. Trapped with no water, no food, no light, they were condemned to a slow and painful death. It's a tribute to some of the families who worked in the mines. Hmm, nothing about graves or crosses here. Cross, carvers of tunnel rock, unmatched in strength and size. Jenny read the words to herself again. Strength and size? Look for the biggest cross. They didn't mean a cross on a grave. They meant a cross in a grave. family must be buried in the graveyard below. I've got to work out who was the biggest. Find the grave, find the secret passage to the jail, save Mom. Boy, I really hope I don't have to dig them up and measure them. Arena Cross. I know I make it look easy, but I'm hanging on for dear life here. Cross. What have you got to say for yourself? I was taller than Helga. What an odd epitaph. cross buried here. The search continues. Here's one. 
Helga Cross. I was taller than Karina. Seems the Cross family had quite the rivalry. Cooper, Chapman, and Cole, but no cross. Friends cross. I was taller than Ivan. My next adventure relies less on the structural integrity of old plant roots. <sighs> I'm going cross-eyed looking for crosses, but there aren't any here. Here's another one. Ivan Cross. How tall were you? Casper is a little liar. Ivan wasn't pulling any punches. There can't be many more crosses to find. Where haven't I looked yet?
miles taller than Franz. After an exhaustive search of the graveyard, Jenny had found all of the graves marked cross. Now I just need to work out who was the tallest. Who was the tallest cross? was lying, then Helga must be the tallest. Which means Helga's grave is hiding the secret passageway to the jail. Jenny saw nothing particularly unique about this grave. Like all the others, the slab was weathered, chipped, and covered in moss. There's another epitaph carved into the base. Here lies she, seven foot three, stung by a bee. A small stone pot sat in front of the headstone. A fine layer of soil lined the inside. It's a vase for a flower. A wonderful revelation struck Jenny as the final piece of the puzzle fell into place. Don't forget to pay your respects. I need to place a flower here. Jenny pulled the gravedigger's daisy from her pocket. I knew this would come in handy.
says the entrance was relocated, but it doesn't say where. safe. Why does everything have to be so convoluted? Mom will have died of old age by the time I reach her. Hello? You said if anything strange happened, I should call you. Well, something strange just happened. This is the only tomb here, and with no epitaph. This has to be it. When did doors go out of fashion? If this is the entrance, then there must be some way to open it.
Jenny peered into the ominous void. A jagged path carved into the earth, plunging deep beneath the rotting soil. How far down did it go? There was only one way to find out. I'm not sure I want to. Gathering her courage, she stepped forward into the distended bowels of Arthurton. <clears throat> I said she stepped forward into the distended bowels of Arthurton. before I walk down a pitch black staircase into the terrifying abyss. Sorry, Jenny. Jenny stared into the darkness. She could almost hear her mother's voice calling. A great detective perseveres, no matter the obstacle. And so, she took a deep breath, pushed up the thick frame of her glasses, and crossed the threshold. Another door. Locked, I presume. Whoever built all this certainly wants to keep it a secret. 